Yes. Good idea. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the specific products okay. that were used to create the effect? Sure. So basically, I used uh, two lipsticks, one called Blankety, one called Myth. They're existing lipsticks, but they're amazing. It's really good for like an everyday customer also because it's sort of like wash and go. You can do this mascara, a little bit of blush, and you're done. Very simple. What were so, the names again? Blank Blankety. Blankety, okay. Yeah. Blankety. Mm -hmm. And Myth. Myth, okay. M-Y-T-H. Okay. So, and basically, you know, from the inspiration of Japan and the 30s couture and from ports, basically I thought to do a really strong, intense eye. So I thought of the models just sort of looking into a Japanese koi pond and the reflection that you would get from the pond would be the color that I created for their eyes. So basically I mixed uh, a red cream color based shadow from MAC mixed with uh, pigments, uh, three pigments together, two existing and a new color that is, we don't even have a name for it, it's that new. And um, very subtle mascara and lots of curling. Important to curl the lashes and very little mascara. And the skin is just beautiful, the skin is healthy, it's youthful, and it's done with a studio sculpt foundation mixed with strobe cream. Yeah. yeah. What is mixing with the strobe cream? Mixing with the strobe cream gives it this luminosity. So when the models are walking on the stage, you're gonna see the skin just glow. They're gonna look very, very fresh. And you, you will have that with the foundation by itself but the uh, strobe cream just gives it that extra shine. You'll see it. Where do you put it? You put it like along the apple for the cheeks, the contour? Not, not even. We just mixed it right in with the, right in yeah, with we, okay. we did the moisturizer and then we mixed the strobe cream in with the foundation. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, what are these two colors called? The green? Uh, so this one is called Reflex Copper. Okay. This one is called Reflex Rust. Oh, you just so mix there's a mix of both? A mix of both, actually, wait. <laughs> It's those two, and actually this new existing shade that there's no name for it as yet, but it's just beautiful. And you can see mixing them together, you get this really beautiful combination. And you put it, you put it over a cream base? Over a red cream base. Red cream base. Yeah, and this means by putting the pigment on, it means that it's going to stay in place. So there's, there's not going to be a lot of creasing. It should last. Do you have any tips for using loose pigments without it getting too messy? Yes. I feel like it's a very, a very, very <laughs> soft brush. Make sure there's no wind around you, no open window. I have a small phobia of glitter because since I'm a makeup artist, I don't want to see like a small speck of green from a year ago and I'm going to remember, oh, I did that for this show. So I really, really am so clean about it. So it just means open your pigment onto a tissue, which I, I did over there, and then uh, just to be really careful. As soon as I'm done, I close it. Because it's not going to be you that'll spill it. It'll be someone else that's going to walk by and bounce it over, and it, that's the end of it. You know. What about when you put it on? Like sometimes it gets like. Okay. The, the really good trick is, um, you, if you put some kind of cream base underneath it, then you won't have any problem with it uh, transferring or falling. And a very soft brush. I'll show you my brush that I use. Yeah. Basically, this one. What number is that? This is number. Oh my God, 222. So a soft brush and basically you're stippling. You're just tapping or pressing. If you do any kind of motion or flicking with the brush, yeah. it's all over your face. Yeah. So, so no brushing. Yeah. So as I'm applying, tapping. right, and yeah. I just basically take a little at a time, saturate over and over until I get the in intensity. And the base will definitely help it stick a little bit too. The base helps a lot, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What did you use as the base? Yeah. the red cream? It's a red cream color base. Okay, yeah. but it's not, there's no name. No, I think it's red cream oh, color base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's just a really vivid, vivid red. I used that first, and then the pigment on top. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing on the stage. Yeah, I, I feel like finally spring is spring. You know, people are excited about color. They're bored with dark. They want bright and light. It was like and last, year, last spring, it was like black eyes. Oh, exactly. Cool. Yeah, that was fun. That was, it was fun. Reflective of yeah. the economic times. Right. right. But now we're yeah. all over that, right? Yeah. Now we're like ready to move on. Yeah, and I yeah. feel like this quartz is really showing like this in the collection where it's like a new trend. It's like something refreshing, you know? Yeah. I feel refreshed even thinking about it. Aww. Aww. That's great. <laughs> we should talk with you. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You so Thanks, much. guys. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Thank you.